Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sachit Jain and I make videos about student life, tech and photography. In today's video, I want to share with you guys five tips and tricks that I learned in my first online semester as a sophomore student. These are just some tips and tricks that I learned over the first semester as an online student and I hope these tips uh, can help you guys in some way or the other. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. It is important to create boundaries for yourself. Online university can get overwhelming at times with multiple assignments and deadlines and absolutely no motivation to complete anything. It is important to create boundaries and know when it's enough. You need to take out time apart from studying to make sure you actually get back to studying with some rejuvenation. Your brain needs some rest as well in order to function at the level you want it to. Digital world is not designed for boundaries, so it can be very easy to lose track of time and always keep worrying about something or the other. Find a way to meet people or interact with people. I know you can feel lonely right now, monotonous time schedules and no physical interaction with any human being apart from your family. You can start meeting new friends over Zoom or FaceTime. Online relationship is all you have this semester, so make the most out of it. Join a new club or a society where you can interact with people. I joined five different societies last year so that I can interact with new people and make sure that I'm always talking to someone new or talking to someone who can help me uh, get my mind fresh and who can help me clear out the thoughts that are going on in my mind all day long. Don't skip lectures until unless absolutely necessary. Skipping lectures can be very easy since you're not required to sit in a class. It is kind of same for online and offline classes but I feel skipping lectures when the classes are online is easier and that makes it dangerous. Once you start skipping lectures, you won't realize how long it's been since you have not attended classes. For a subject and then covering up for those classes can take up a while. I personally faced this in one of my classes where I thought skipping one lecture won't make a difference. And before I knew it, I was weeks behind my class. So what I would say, it can be easy to skip classes. And you can lack the motivation to attend all classes, especially when you have classes at night like I do because of the time difference. As we are all attending university from different parts of the world, just try to make sure that even if you don't attend classes live, at least watch the recorded lectures to make sure you don't fall behind. Take care of your sleep and health. It is very important to take care of your health and maintain a proper sleep schedule during online classes. Especially since we are all dealing with this COVID situation, we must not neglect our health just because we are overstressed with assignments and deadlines. Everything can be managed with a little bit of reshuffling and better time management. So we should aim to focus on that instead of cribbing and cramming everything at the 11th hour. Maintaining a proper sleep schedule is detrimental for your well-being and your immune system. Take it from personal experience, I had a very, very bad sleep schedule in my first online semester and I could not stress on how bad things get towards the end. When you have to put an extra hour studying during midterms or finals, it becomes very unhealthy to have a bad sleep schedule. Schedule at least some part of your day. Scheduling helps in a lot of ways. It gives you clarity as to what needs to be done on a particular day and make sure you have the time allotted for those tasks. It helps in overcoming anxiety considering the amount of work you may need to get done on a particular day. Giving structure to your day can help in separating time off work and making sure you are productive while working because what gets measured gets managed. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope these tips can help you guys in some way or the other because they surely help me. And I'm sure that with uh, the help of these, I can carry on one more online semester. So yeah, hope you guys are staying safe. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Beyond.